What is up in the army? I am giving it a five coming at you with a brand new video and today I am building the biggest Lego set I have ever gone. I know it's kind of weird we built that I built Lego on this uh, channel. This one's fitting. It's a Lego Nintendo Entertainment System. It's literally our console. We do have a good amount left after this. Uh, yeah. There's three there, then there's two there. Yeah, there's five left. So, get ready. Two of them pretty much make sense because, well, they have codes in them for the new game coming. Uh, this one just makes sense because, well, it's a gaming thing. Then now those are just heads, and I've already done a head on this channel before, so why the heck not? Anyway, with that, we're going to speed build this. Don't know how long, I don't know how that's going to go. But anyway, we are going to speed build this. We are going to look at the box first. This is why I have this one ready to roll. And, uh, let's do this. This is, this box is huge. I unwrapped this, and I was, uh, and I was constantly looking under the tree for something that I could think would be this. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this big. <laughs> anyway, uh, with that, Lego Nintendo Entertainment System is ready to get built right now, today. And, uh, let's look at the box first. I have my secondary camera, and, uh, there's even a handle on the side. <laughs> Never noticed that. Anyway, let's go! Okay, so I, I have switched to the M100 now, and, uh, to get a closer look up out of the box. And, uh, this is, uh, what it looks like. So, on the front, it's... Uh, got a beautiful, beautiful picture of the Nintendo Entertainment System, which you guys have already easily seen. But it also says on the front that it is 18 plus, set number 71374, 2646 pieces, which is absolutely insanity. And then on the side, on this side, there's pretty much nothing. And, uh, except I just noticed this. There's literally a cutout spot for a handle. Like, what? <laughs> it's like they really expect. It's like this set is way too big just. To, for people to even grab. That's insane. It's a little pop-out hole. Then, I'm guessing it'll be the same on this side. Yeah, it has a pop-out hole also. Not gonna pop that one out. We know what those do. But it also has the Nintendo... Official Nintendo licensed product uh, symbol. Uh, plus the Lego symbol. And then at the very bottom, we have Mario... Uh, Pretty much the TV. So, <laughs> anyway, um, then back. The back of the box. Uh, so, on the back, we have, uh, d uh, the description of what the, uh, con the set is. Then we have, uh, how, uh, how re in life pictures and stuff. And then, like, size, sizes of it. It, it the TV is 23.9 centimeters long, and it's 22.6 centimeters high with stand. Uh, it, then the console is 20.8 centimeters long, and it is 7.3 centimeters high, and then it is the controller is 12.6 centimeters long and 5.1 centimeters high. Not counting the cord. Anyway, with that, let's switch back to the big 
to the camcorder. Let's open the box and uh, see what's inside this. Okay, so got my scissors to cut this box open. Got my extra park box um, because I have and there's gonna be a lot of that. And uh, let's uh, let's get this open, I guess. Gonna have it slightly over the table and uh, okay, okay, so that is one tape. There is three tape on this side. Jeez, Lego, I think you might have made this box a little too big. Okay, and there's one more tape on this side. Oh, it's really heavy. Okay, tape is cut. Well, probably not the right spot to have those now. And uh, let's open this. We have a box. Inside of a box! <laughs> oh, comedy gold, Lego. Oh, and this box has some weight to it! Okay! Uh, well, I can see bags in there. Get to those in a in a bit. Uh, well, actually, that's all. That's the. You know what? Let's just dump them out. Oh my! Ready? Right well, that's not it. Literally stuck. Okay, that's insane. Now let's open this thing. What's in this? So there's a box inside of a box. I kid you not. There is literally a box inside of a box. So, might as well open this. I brought the camera closer now, pretty much at a uh, speed build spot. Okay, I just need to do this so I can get tape cut. Okay. Let's take cut. Oh! Is that? Oh, we're done. Okay. Knowing Lego, that should have been it. Okay. What's in it? Holy cow! More bags! Anything else? Yep. That is it. Okay. That's a lot of bags. So, pretty much full size books for the instruction manuals. Then, uh, one uh, gray base plate. This thing, which is for the TV. Then uh, we have a really big bag six. So this is bag six, bag five, 
Bag seven, seven, seven. There's a lot of seven. Uh, bag four, bag one. Um, no bag seven. Jeez, bag three. Anyway, uh, let's do bag seventeen, bag six. Uh, how many bags are there? Oh, bag twenty. That's insane. Bag eleven. My goodness. Bag sixteen. Bag eight. Bag twenty one. Oh my goodness. Bag ten. So, I'm pretty sure there's like 21 bags here. That's insane. Um, I'm gonna get started on this. Uh, this is gonna be a couple hours of building. Probably two days. Anyway, I'm going to get started. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys. I'm not gonna show you the sticker sheet. Oh my god. I don't even know where I put that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, it's time about the time, so probably in quite a while. Anyway, goodbye!
I am back two days later. <laughs> two days of building later, and it is complete. The Lego Nintendo Entertainment System is now finished. And my goodness, is this was this a hard build for me? I've never struggled as much as I ever have as I did with any other build like this one. But now that it's done, it will be put on display in my bedroom. And, uh, yeah. No. Let's just go through what's in it. It has quite a few details. Uh, let's start with the thing that actually has the least amount of stuff, and that's the actual, probably the main reason why everyone wants this. That's the Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's move the TV over there. Move that. And move that. So, this is the console. It was the first thing that I built, and uh, it is the smallest of everything. It was bags 1 to 8, then 9 to 21 were that. So, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System which I've already broken once, and I'm not breaking it again. It has uh, this part that opens up, and you can stick the Super Mario game cartridge in, and pop it down, and it's in. Then there's also the Nintendo controller, which is life size, and uh, that connects into either player one or player two, and like the amount, of, the attention to detail with this set is absolutely stunning. Like, um, if I take everything out of this, There we go. So, attention to detail. I'm absolutely 10 out of 10 for this set. If you can't see, bring it closer. It has Nintendo Entertainment System, which is printed. Press uh, Power and Reset, which are also printed. Then, on this on this side we have audio and video which is also a printed piece. Then there's nothing on this side. Okay. Other than a very smartly built uh um part that is meant to be the uh power this Ooh, it's loose. I think. No, oh, not loose. Anyway, um this is meant to be power, this is meant to be like landline, and then this is something else. So, the amount of detail that's gone into this is absolutely amazing. This is audio and video, and then probably the coolest thing about this entire set, in my view, is that the designers are so smart putting this in. They put an Easter egg. In the console, they put a, a Mario level on the console, which is amazing. That is so cool. And you wouldn't even guess where it is. Would you guess where a Easter egg would be on this thing? No. Then, the inside is actually very simple. But, um, yeah. Guess, let's show you what. You can actually get in, look inside. By, rem by removing this section right here. And you can see inside the console. This is the ejection tray, and when you pr press it, well, not when you're holding it like this, but when you press it down with the cartridge on it, it stays down, and, uh, well, I can't get it back up. I don't know what I did wrong, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I will say that. I think they did an amazing job and you just put this 
back on like so. You can't even tell I did anything to it. And if you told as getting with someone, do you think this is a real console? I'm pretty sure by from not looking just out of the blue asking, you probably would say it, it is. <laughs> but uh it's not. Then uh let's look at the controller next. Everything on the controller is printed. They're all printed pieces. And it has probably the longest cord I've ever seen. I've never seen Lego have a piece like this. And um, then these are things that usually minifigures hold. Then these are the A and B buttons. Then this is the uh, D-pad. And uh, we have select start, we, like, the amount of detail on this. This I messed up on. Yeah, <laughs> if you didn't see it in the, the uh, well, I messed up on pretty much everything, so. The thing I messed up the most on was this and this. So, uh, then, next. The cartridge had two of the three stickers on it. Which, uh, were both these. And, uh, I really like the look of this. They even have a green plate in there, so you can actually, it, it actually, uh, looks like there is, like, uh, the, uh, data plate in. So, that's cool. And then, let's look. And probably the most pieces went into this. Now, I don't have Mario, but he's supposed to go on the top and power this thing. Make music and everything. I don't have him, but uh, this still really cool. It has a dial that actually works. The channel dial, which uh, even makes the noise, which is absolutely amazing. How cool is that? There might be something in the way, I think it's supposed to go all the way here. Anyway, that is so cool. Um, then, well, I guess I can show you where Mario goes. I can't actually get it off. You may you remove this plate and there's a spot on the top for Mario to go in. Now the TV does come off its stand very easily, but it does uh get on pretty pretty well also. So uh let's look at the back I guess. The stand is literally nothing. It says low tech. I completely forgot to say that. It has UHF and VHF, which is ultra high uh, frequency. I can't remember the other thing. I'm young. <laughs> then on off. Uh, that, that, that. Uh, uh, I don't know what those mean. <laughs> so, then on the back, we have audio and video, because that's what those are. Uh, probably power, or that could be power, I don't know, either one of those. Then, uh, we have the actual, uh, uh, caution sticker that's on pretty much every TV, that is amazing. We have the antenna. Which is also a really cool piece. Then, uh, probably the big, the thing that took the most amount of time, which was this. Oh no. What did I do? Hmm, that's not good. It's stuck.
Something's blocking it. I will be right back. Okay, so slightly fixed. It'll go backwards, not forwards. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what's wrong. Anyway, uh, it's okay now. <laughs> to the point that I'm willing to call it a day. This is coming off also. Oh, jeez. Something's pushing on this. I'm gonna have to check what. Something's forcing it to come fully apart, and I, I'm unsure of what. Anyway, uh, this is the Nintendo Lego Nintendo Entertainment System. It's an amazing set, and uh, yeah. Uh, other than the fact that I screwed up on something, it's an amazing set. <laughs> anyway, with that guys, I'm giving you five sign off that took two days to build. I'm gonna go rest. With that guys, hope to see you all in the next video. I'm giving you five sign off. See you later in the army. Stay glowing fun and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye!